Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you t uh, a little past midnight for doing this uh, album review. And this is for the long-awaited album review you've been waiting for that I was planning on doing tonight for Animals as Leaders, his new album, Parhisia. Uh, I believe is how you pronounce it for their new album review. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this new Animals as Leaders album, Parhisia. And I think it's only going to be a digital release for this uh, f upcoming Friday. And then next Friday, they're going to have the album uh, available f for physical copy, which would be April 1st. So, yeah, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all nine songs and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this album review for Animals as Leaders, Parhisia. Now, it is an instrumental album, so you're not going to get any singing from the lead guitarist or whatever. But pretty much, I think this album was really good. Honestly, it is experimental with some things that they try out with experimental progressive metal core and all that and gent and other things genres they specify in progressive metal and other things like that but basically the first song conflict Cart cartography i believe is how you pronounce it a uh, very good song to start off the album Love the guitar riffs. The drum work is great in it. Uh, basically, there's certain solos in the song that actually really interested me to really love in this song. So, 5 out of 5 for Conflict Cartography. Uh, next is Monomyth. And that was a pretty good song, too. It's a little shorter than the first song. It's like almost three and a half minutes, but... For this song as a single, it was really outstanding, and I love the instrumentation in this whole song. It sounds really good, and it flows naturally with how the guitars are playing out, even with the solos and other things like that, and the guitar breakdowns and other interesting things like that. Um, so, 5 out of 5 for Monomyth. Red Miso was the next song on the album, and that's a pretty outstanding song, so 5 out of 5 for me on that one. Gestalt Zerfall, I believe. Gestalt Zerfall is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Might be pronouncing it wrong. Very outstanding song. Really liked it. Uh, the instrumentation and... Some of the way that the lead guitarist is playing certain uh, riffs and all that. With changing up his riff style. With what chords he's going to play through the guitars and all that. So it's actually a really interesting song. So I really liked it. And the melody change ups and all that stuff sound really good the guitar change-ups, and they switch it up with different uh, hooky uh, guitar riffs. So it's a pretty interesting song. So 5 out of 5. Uh, Asahi, that's an interlude. It's not a bad interlude, but I don't know if I feel for it right now. I have to listen to it a little more, which I've had this album for, like, I think since the beginning the end of February when I downloaded it so I've had this album but I've wanted to wait to review it until it got close to the 25th of March and that's when it's expected to be out I think only on digital version or whatever it's going to be out and then it'll be out next week on physical copy like I said so Asahi's getting a 4.5 out of 5. The problem of other minds is getting a 4.5 out of 5. Some of the experimentation I don't know if I feel for. But 
the guitar riff wise it sounds pretty good so there's some electronic stuff in it that I don't know if I feel for but it's still a pretty solid track so 4.5 out of 5 for the problem of other minds uh, thoughts and prayers really outstanding song it's pretty lengthy it's probably the lengthiest song you're gonna find on this album it's like almost six minutes but it's like five minutes and 48 seconds I believe but it's pretty outstanding uh, instrumentation sounds really good and I like how there's an electronic moment in the song with the melody and it sounds pretty cool and I really like that about the song so five out of five for thoughts and prayers microaggressions very good song and Gordian knot closes out the album very fantastically meaning it's pretty much well structured out and and executes very well with the overall sound it's going for so yeah production mixing and execution i think animals as leaders parhisia album was a really good album i really enjoyed it um from start to finish there may have been two songs i found to be solid but other than that i didn't have any problems with this album i really enjoyed it for what it was going for even with some experimentation it might have lessened the rating down a bit for me but not to the extent where i hate this album i really like this album so overall I think Animals as Leaders as Parhisia album was a pretty outstanding album. Highly recommend you check this album out. It is an instrumental, so if you're expecting singing in it, you're not going to get that for this album because they're not the band for that. They just play guitars and drums and don't sing at all. So that's what you're getting for Animals as Leaders. Uh, but first score for me, I'm giving Animals as Leaders' his new album, Parhisia, a 9 out of 10. This was a really good album. Highly recommend you check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much my review for it. Um, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Animals as Leaders album, Parhisia, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this album review I made for you guys a little past midnight tonight, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. I guess tomorrow I'll be getting to the other album reviews like Michael Buble, Higher. I'm going to check that album out. I never really came around to his album Love. So I may check out a Michael Buble album. I haven't decided yet, but Wallows is dropping their next album, I think, this coming up Friday, the 25th, so I'm interested to hear how that sounds. And also, uh, we got, of course, Machine Gun Kelly, Mainstream Sellout, with his new album coming out this upcoming Friday, the 25th. But this Animals is Leaders album is dropping March 25th, uh, I think, digitally. Uh, for streaming platforms for the release week and all that release day and then next Friday the first it's gonna have a physical copy to be available because Amazon's now saying April 1st it's gonna be released for physical copy but that's okay um, uh, I can wait uh, I know some people can wait a week for it to come out for physical copy but anyways i hope you enjoyed this animals as leaders parhisia album review i did the best i could to make it as good as possible i'll have another review coming out tomorrow morning for machine gun kelly mainstream sellout and some other albums as well if i get around to doing three or four albums total but stay safe take care guys have a great rest of your thursday morning uh, going into the Thursday morning as well. And as always, I'll see you in my next review.